Hello everybody, hope you're well. We're out in the camper van. There's the two pooches. <laughs> We've just been for a wander. But we thought it was an opportunity to talk about this. Jackery 500, the Explorer solar power station, solar generator, power supply, whatever you want to call it. And as I've said before, when you have a YouTube channel or get on social media, companies send you things to do reviews. And there's only certain things that I'll do reviews of, quality products, and this is certainly one of the quality products. I love solar generators. And Jackery are one of a number of companies that make them, but they are very good quality pieces of kit. And I just want to talk about this generator and how I tend to use it. Um, and also the solar panel that comes with it. But on YouTube, there are literally hundreds of videos about solar generators and the Jackery 250, the Jackery 500 or the Jackery 1000. So this is just one of many promotions that uh, Jackery and other solar generators are looking to do. So it's compact, it's not heavy, it's lightweight. I'll put all the specs in below. Um, it's recharged in three ways, all through this unit here. So you have a barrel connector here and you can plug in a solar panel, you can plug in a mains charger or you can plug it into a cigarette charger unit which we'll talk a bit about, more about in a minute. One AC, so this is your mains power and this is charging up the drone batteries. I was going to do some drone footage and the batteries are flat so if there's drone footage in this, you know I managed to charge the batteries up. So they're the batteries for the drone, they're the batteries for my uh, Osmo Action and uh, the drone unit as well. And they're all plugged into this. And in here, it tells you how much power it's using. So it's 100% charged and it's using 67 watts. So this is a 500 watt um, solar generator. So they call it in watt hours so if you use 500 watts it will last an hour so if you know what your devices are and you divide it by the actual capacity of the unit this one being 500 you can work out how much power and how much charging you'll actually get out of this for your various units so as well as the AC which is the mains power you also have USBs on here straightforward just plug into there you have the old-fashioned cigarette lighter whatever you want to call it unit here and these here you I struggle to find what these are used for but searching on the internet these are sockets mainly for LED lights they're like barrel pin sockets and on the side here you have a light I as I said I really like solar generators and they come in all different sizes Jackery do this one is 500 they do a smaller version of a 250 and then they do a thousand watt hour and they obviously vary in price Jackery, although they sent me in the solar panel, which we'll have a look in a minute, they haven't actually given me the information about the cost of these at the moment. They're usually around £500, I think. But if you look in the description below, Jackery will have sent me the latest information. There's probably a discount code or a sale going on where you can save yourself some money on this and the solar panel. We'll look at it in a bit. But why do you need one of these? Well, in my camper van, if we look in the back, in the back of my van, which is very untidy, <laughs> <laughs> as you can see it's not the tidiest thing at the moment but what I want to talk about is in that box there there's a 320 hour lithium battery and I'll link the install and all the information about that battery in the back and what we've got here is we've got a DC to DC charger so that enables the lithium battery to be charged from the uh, car to the van alternator an MPPT, so that's the controller that takes the information and power from the solar panels and puts it into the batteries. And then in the corner there's a mains charger as well. All of this and the battery is combined in that solar generator. And you get all of that in this. So inside here there's a lithium battery. You've got your MPPT for here for charging from your solar panel. You have another unit that plugs in here for your mains power 
and then you have a separate lead which plugs into your cigarette socket so you have a lead that comes out of here and plugs into your vehicle to charge it with this type of socket on but lithium batteries in things like this and in camper vans are a total total game changer if you think about it the old-fashioned lead acid batteries are hundreds of years old they're, they're ancient technology and they've evolved slightly over the years but lithium is a step change so having something that's light it's easier to charge it charges quickly it keeps the voltage as it loses its power so what i mean about that is this unit here and the lithium battery in my, my van will hold its voltage at 12 plus volts all the way through until it gets to about a small percentage of the actual power left in the unit now if this had a lead acid battery in or an agm battery what you would find is as the volt as the power drops the voltage would drop so you would still have some power in this a percentage of power but the voltage would start to go underneath 12 percent and sorry 12 volts and if it goes under 12 volts it starts to damage the battery but with this system it stays at that 12 volts as it goes down in the capacity of power that's available so that's a real game changer the other thing about these are the safe the solid state the lightweight there's no lead in this the lightweight and they take big charges quick so they charge a lot quicker than other lead acid batteries now they do come you can buy they don't come with it but you can buy separately a solar panel and I generally leave the solar panel there if I'm camping while camping somewhere and I need to leave the van. I'll leave it in the windscreen. Now today, as you can see out there, it's thick cloud, there's no sun, so there's very little if no power's coming out of that. And on the dash here, it actually says the input, there's no power from it at all. But these solar panels, these are 100 watt solar panels. They're quite robust, and we'll have a look in more detail in a minute, but they're quite robust. And they come with a fixed lead in. I think it's a two meter lead that just plugs into the charging unit there. So I've plugged in the car charging lead. And in a crafter, in my crafter, there's a separate socket under here. There's one in the ashtray which charges when the ignition's on. And this one's on all the time. So I've just plugged it in so you can see it's drawing input is 50 watts so it's taking 50 watts into this as charging it the other good thing about this although the capacity is 500 watts you can actually charge the unit while you're actually ch charging other things so you can run it through a through power so as this power is going in we're taking power out of here so it's putting in around 50 53 watts and it's taking out 65 watts so the difference between those numbers is the actual usage of this so the capacity of this will actually be bigger than just using it not plugged in and the good thing about these is that you can plug them in as you're driving so you can charge this up as you're driving around so like the system i've got in the back with a battery to battery um, charging unit this is the same sort of principle the unit's inside and you just plug it into this cable now in I use these because I don't have an inverter in my van. Now I've never liked inverters fastened into your main system of the van because they're just not efficient in using power. And I don't use that much mains power. But if I do, I prefer to use solar generators. And the reason I use solar generators are the devices that I've got will only charge from mains from AC power or it's a big capacity. So a big capacity, something like my e-bike batteries. So if I go away in the camper van, I take my e-bike bike with me. I might take two e-bike batteries and I can charge one up while one's in the back, one's in the bike. And I can charge it up by this using the mains charger, which gives it the most efficient charge. But I can also charge this up by being fixed into the back of the van. And there's a cigarette socket in the back of the van, which will charge this as I'm driving along. So it's a good efficient way of doing it. It comes with a neoprene bag to put your bits and pieces in your charging units. That's the mains charging unit. Nothing special there. 
comes as I say with this lead that plugs into a 12 volt socket and it, it can be charged by solar panels as well. An interesting thing about this as well as having the lead fitted that plugs straight into the Jackery unit it has these two USBs, a USB standard one and a USB-C unit on here which you can charge direct from the solar panel which is excellent. They're robust, they're easy to use, they just unfold like that and they stick together with magnets. They have these tie holes on here so you can fasten it on the side of your van or on your roof rack or somewhere. They're not 100% waterproof but they'll take a little bit of weather um, but I certainly wouldn't leave it out in bad conditions. It has a zip pocket on here so you can keep all your bits and pieces in and these here are the steps that fold out to enable you to angle the panel towards the sun to give you the best results in relation to catching as much solar as you possibly can. So yeah, good. As I say, price for these I'll put in the description because Jackery haven't sent me the latest prices and discount codes as yet. So all you do to charge it is plug that in there and stick your solar panel somewhere where it's going to get lots of sun which would be very difficult today. Otherwise, as well as being able to use solar generators in my camper van and really enjoy using those and find them really efficient way of using mains power or a, a, an efficient way of using power outside. So if we're outside the camper van and we're having a, a barbecue with some people, we can plug lights into this. We can uh, plug in heated seats for our uh, chairs outside with it. It has a light on the side or we can plug our other light units in. Whatever you want to plug in outside, you've got an independent unit. You could use it for camping in a tent. If you're on a, a I wouldn't carry it too far, but you could carry it on a campsite or if you're camping not too far away from your vehicle, you could um, certainly use it to uh, give you power within a campsite or in a tent or even a caravan as separate power units. They are independent, they're easy to carry about so you can move them anywhere. So you can use them outside, you can use them for power tools, you just need to be aware of what wattage. So this is 500 watt max, it'll have, um, although it says 500 watts, it will actually take more wattage to start with and then drop down to a current 500 watt. But if you look on your devices, it'll tell you what wattage the devices are before you actually decide which size unit you want to buy. So you need to check that the wattage is capacity of the actual unit is going to be great enough to power the units that you actually want to run from it. The other thing about this which is really really good for us, um, where we live, we live in middle of nowhere, in middle of the North Yorkshire Moors uh, on top of a hill and we love it. We've lived there now for a year, over a year now and it's perfect. We love taking those two for a walk up on the hills and it's just perfect position for us to be but there are limitations for where you live and when you live in those um, remote areas um, our house is nearly 200 years old and it didn't actually get mains power until the 60s <laughs> bizarrely there's no mobile phone signal there's no mains gas um, we do have mains sewerage but a lot of people around us don't have that but we do have lots of long distance overhead cables to enable the mains power to get to our cottage. So we have variations of these and this one that will sit around the house. And if we get a power cut, and if you've seen the news recently, I'll put a clip in now. Worst affected with 32,000 people still without power are these areas of the northeast of Scotland. All schools in Aberdeenshire are closed and they'll stay shut tomorrow. In England, 29,000 people across the North East, Yorkshire and Lincolnshire are still affected by power cuts. You'll see that there is significant benefit of having these around your house if you get a power cut. Our power cuts, we get two or three a year depending on the weather and some of them may last for a couple of hours and some may last for a full day. The next village along from us had a power cut the other day and it lasted all day. I think it lasted about eight hours. So with having these, we can plug our devices and various things in the house and we still have mains power. So we can still watch TV, we'll still have the freezer on, we can still have the fridge running. Um, 
we can have all the lights on everything we can plug into these so it's really funny if there is a power cut we live in a dark skies area so the area we live in is really dark everywhere's pitch black apart from our cottage and we'll have all the lights on and everything and it's all because we've got variations of these dotted around the house that we can plug bits and pieces in they can be used on yachts and in car camping as well or even if you've just got an e-bike and you go off for the day or for a weekend with your e-bike and you want to charge your battery up while you're going this is a fantastic way to charge e-bike batteries as well so they are a really good all-round device very versatile small enough and light enough to store in your, your van and i absolutely love solar generators various different sizes the bigger they are the more expensive they are and the bigger power they are the physical size is bigger so Jackery's website will be below and um, also there'll be a card at the end of this which will talk about my electrics in the camper van which will talk a bit more about lithium and the benefits of lithium. In relation to charging, from a wall charger from flat it'll take 7 hours, from a car 12 volt supply from flat it'll take 8 hours, from the 100 watt solar panel the one we've shown it'll take 14 hours. Some more information on there it's the explorer 500 this portable power station the battery is a lithium ion 24 amp hour 21.6 volts input and a 518.4 watt hour battery the sizes are on there the input and output specification and it comes with a two-year warranty but i think you can extend the warranty if you register it with them for an extra year but definitely comes with a two-year warranty the winner of the olight torch giveaway from our last video which has now got rosie's nose art on it um i don't know because we're filming this before the closing date so i'll now put a clip in of the winner winner's comment and if you haven't already if you can send us an email to one man and his wit whip it or one man and his whip it even at gmail.com and we'll confirm your details and we'll get it posted out to you so congratulations to whoever's ever won it and hopefully all light will send us some more in the future you all right louis are you tired are you tired do you want to go out oh not that tired then <laughs> do you want a sausage well i think i better feed these two that's all from us now and we'll see you again soon thanks for watching